Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because they, uh, anything could come up. We're going to take a look and see what messages we have for you guys from Spirit, okay? Uh, so apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, messages for Capricorn from Spirit. Messages for Capricorn from Spirit. What does uh, Capricorn need to know from Spirit for September 2024? We have new chapters. Some of you guys could be starting a new chapter in your life at this time. Now, Spirit could be letting you know that as you start this new chapter, you guys are on the right path here. All right. So we have new chapter here. We have Limitless. Seems like you guys are tapping into boundless opportunities here with Limit with Limit with Limitless. Okay. What else do we have here for Capricorn? A sacred journey. The journey that you've been on or that you're on is one, in, it's basically a meaningful one because I feel like this is really personal for you guys, okay? So as you guys go through this new chapter, I feel like you guys are letting go and moving into this new chapter and allowing new opportunities to come into your life, allowing new, um, of blessings to come into your life here, okay? Anything that's meant for you here, I feel like it will be coming in for you guys. We have let go and self-worth. So I feel like some of you guys have been working on your self-worth here, you know? Knowing that you're worthy for good, uh, worthy for good things, um, and that you guys are also worthy of love here too, all right? So let's see what else we have here for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for, work on. What other messages do we have here for Capricorn from Spirit? For September 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be in any of replacements. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Sun, Leo energy here in the Two of Cups. There could be a, also a new chapter in love here. But I feel like more so this new chapter could be very personal for you guys. You guys are finding harmony. You guys are finding balance. You guys are finding self-love. You guys are finding happiness within oneself here. But like I said, this new chapter could also be regarding new love that's coming into your life here too. Perhaps Spirit wants to let you know that, you know, new love is about to come into your life. All right. Let's see what else we have. Two of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. Where there was confusion here, where there was like, you know, stagnant energy here, I do feel like you guys are definitely finding clarity here. You guys are having some sort of major breakthrough here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like letting go, and I feel like you realize that with letting go, whatever you're holding on to, you know, Capricorn, I feel like you realize that, you know what, it doesn't have to be that way. I could take charge and make changes here. You know, change is not automatically gonna happen, but I have to take action here in order for it to happen, in order for the universe to support you on that journey here. All right, tell me about the sacred journey, uh, not sacred journey, we'll look at that later, but uh, tell me about uh, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Wands here and the Nine of Cups. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys could be letting go of trauma here any sort of pain, any sort of hurt, you could be letting that go. And as you let that go, new love could be coming into your life here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, some of you guys might have been, some of you guys have been single for a very long time here. And I do feel like your soulmate is about to come into your life. Perhaps, you know, your spirit guides are letting you know that, okay, there's someone new that is about to, uh, that is about to come into your life here. Talk about the sun card. Why is the sun card here and the sun of wands? The Two of Cups. 
and a ton of cups here. Wow. Capricorn, you would not believe what's coming into your life here. There is a happy relationship where some, I feel like some here is really protective of you. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is very loving, this person is very caring, this person is emotionally available, emotionally stable here. And I feel like this is an individual that's giving you what you want here, okay? Let's see, we'll tell me the two of wands here. And also temperance, Sagittarius energy, the ace of swords here, and also the five of pentacles. This stagnant energy that you've been in, this energy of loneliness and insecurity here, like I feel like you guys are definitely healing from that here. Yeah, I feel like another thing here, I feel like you guys are starting to feel like everything is falling into place here. Where after you guys have gone through like, like a really difficult period, like things are really coming together for you guys. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. That's not the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. And also the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. And the Knight of Cups here. And also the Nine of Swords. Mm. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Magician here? Six of Cups. Oh, okay. There could be someone here that's really missing you here. So as you go through this spiritual journey here, as you start this new chapter, your past could be coming back around, trying to reconnect with you here, trying to manifest here with you. Seems like somebody here has unfinished business here with you, with the world card, but I feel like you're finished with this person here. Yeah, you've moved on from this person. Somebody here is spying on you here, Capricorn. Okay? So how about new chapter? Why is new chapter here? Why is new chapter here? We have the High Priestess. Wow. There is a deep inner knowing that there is a new beginning that's happening for you guys. I just feel like with High Priestess here, I feel like you guys are just... There's a knowing that you guys are just in the right place. Yeah, you guys are just in the right place here, okay? Tell about Limitless. Why is Limitless here? And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. New beginnings here are happening for you guys. Like I said, I feel like there's new beginnings in love. I feel like your spirit guides are letting you know that there is new love coming into your life here where this new love that's coming into your life will be harmonious, will be balanced, there will be happiness here, okay? Um, you know, I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person's incredibly protective of you. Energies that we have here so far, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Sagittarius, uh, Virgo, uh, and Scorpio here, Libra, Aquarius, all right? So it could be anybody here, basically. Yeah, it could be anybody here. Tell me about Sacred Journey. Why is Sacred Journey here? And the Knight of Wands here. As you've been going this, through this journey here, you know, I feel like you guys are definitely finding your inner light and your fire here and your passion. And some of you guys are going through a powerful transformation here. Some of you guys are definitely finding closure here as you begin this new chapter here too. And we have the uh, Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. While in the Tower here, this is, you know, whatever you're going through here is pretty powerful. You know, I feel like your spirit guides are letting you know that, you know what, you're on the right path here, you're in the right place, and there is a soulmate that's coming into your life here that will make you very, very, very happy. And yes, as this new soulmate is coming into your life, this past person could be coming back around into your life here. All right? Look at this. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Could be another earth sign here that could be coming into your life. You know, I feel like spirit wants you to know that your soulmate is coming into your life pretty soon here. Okay? I do feel like within the next few months. Yeah, I do feel like within the next few months here. Okay? This is a real hardworking individual. This person, life, their life is on track here, you know? I do feel like you will, you know, achieve some sort of victory and success here with this individual or that this person sees victory and success here with you, Capricorn. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.